Hi, I'm Jordan, and today I'll be teaching you how to play Swoosh by Zalzar Games, a competitive card snatching game for two or more players of ages 6 and up. And did I mention it has dragons? In order to win, players must build sequences of numbers, protect them, and then collect them. The player with the most cards when the deck runs out is the winner. In order to get started, deal 5 cards to each player. Put the rest of the deck in the center of the board. The youngest player begins by playing any amount of a single number, provided they have duplicates of the same number, in order to create the first sequence. In this case, the first player begins by playing two threes to create the first sequence. At the end of their turn, the player must draw back up to five cards. Every player must have five cards at the end of their turn. Their turn is now over. The next player then has a couple of options. They may 1. Continue an existing sequence by placing a matching number on top of an existing number. In this example, that would mean playing an additional 3 on top of the two 3s that already exist as part of the first sequence. Secondly, they may continue an existing sequence by playing a number that is either higher or lower than an existing number. In this example, that would mean playing any numbers of 2s or playing any number of 4s on either side of the sequence. Lastly, they may also choose to create a new sequence by playing a card in a different location on the table. There is no limit to the number of active sequences. In this example, the player does exactly that, placing a 10 to create a new sequence. Generally speaking, a player may only play one card per turn, except when they have multiples of the same number, or when they play a card that specifies otherwise, such as the Green Dragon Power card, but we'll talk about that later. So that should explain how to build a sequence. Now how do you collect sequences? Sequences are collected once a player plays the fifth card belonging to that sequence. So in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, with any amount of numbers on each card. In this case, the player who played the 1 or the 5 gets to claim that sequence, placing those cards near to them to indicate that they've claimed possession of those cards. Cards can also be scored by playing the Dragon Trainer or the Swoosh Power card, which immediately scores a sequence of your choosing. In addition to these basic rules, there are also 7 dragon power cards that alter the game. Let's begin with the first one. The blue dragon represents the penalty card. The penalty card forces other players to return cards from their score pile to the bottom of the main deck. When this card is played, all other players must return 2 cards for every penalty card in play. In this example, because there are 2 penalty cards in play, all other players must return 4 cards to the bottom of the main deck. Once a penalty card has been played, place it to the side so everyone can see how many blue dragons have been played. This card also counts towards your final score. Next up is the red dragon. The red dragon aggressively skips the turn of the next player. If there are only two players, the player that used the red dragon immediately takes another turn. They will then draw back up to five cards and pass their turn. After this is the green dragon. The green dragon is a special card that can be played in addition to another card and allows the player to immediately play another card. In this example, the player sees a sequence and plays a 7 and a green dragon. This allows them to play an 8 that they had in their hand and complete the sequence before anyone else. Again, the green dragon also counts towards your final score once you play it. After this, we have the dragon's eye. The Dragon's Eye introduces the ability to claim incomplete sequences so that only one player may continue to add cards to that sequence. You do not need to finish the sequence immediately, and may continue to add as many cards as you choose until you decide to score it. In this example, the player decides to use a Dragon's Eye on a sequence that's getting close to completion. They place the sequence near themselves to remember that they've claimed it. Be careful though, the Dragon's Eye can be overpowered by the Dragon Trainer card or the Almighty Swoosh card. The Dragon Trainer, now that we're getting to that, is similar to the Dragon's Eye and can claim an incomplete sequence. However, it is more powerful in the sense that it can override another player's Dragon Eye, stealing it for themselves. In this example, the player steals the sequence from the last player by placing their Dragon Trainer on top of their Dragon's Eye and moves it over to their side. In addition to this, the player may immediately score the sequence or continue to build it up over time. In this example, the player risks keeping the sequence exposed and doesn't score it. The player must be careful though considering that the Dragon Trainer can be similarly overwhelmed by the almighty swoosh. 
The swoosh card is the strongest card in the game. It can claim any sequence, including sequences with either the Dragon's Eye or the Dragon Trainer card. Furthermore, after playing it, you may choose whether to score the sequence immediately or to keep adding to it. In this example, the player overrides the last player's Dragon Trainer and scores the sequence. Finally, the last Dragon card that we'll talk about today is the Four-Headed Dragon card. This special card blocks one end of a sequence and prevents anyone from adding additional cards in that direction. This card can only be played on incomplete sequences that haven't been claimed by another player's Dragon Eye, Dragon Trainer, or Swoosh, or on your own sequences. In this example, after playing the four-headed dragon on this sequence, neither player can add any more cards after the number 7. Finally, once the deck runs out and all cards have been played, the player who took the last sequence takes all the cards from the incomplete sequences left on the table. This important rule can decide a game if you're not thinking tactically. And with that, you should be ready to play your first game of Swoosh. This game is an ultra accessible game that only gets better with more people. Thank you for watching, and please consider giving Swoosh a place at your table.